Hello again, this is Sports Betting Whale on January 22nd, 2018. The theme of today's video is to share with you my story of how I became the largest sports better in Nevada in the 1990s. At the end, I'm going to share my free picks today, so make sure you stay on to the end of this video to get the free picks. Back in the 1990s, I already had success betting round ramens, where I took a small amount and ran it up into tens of thousands, and sometimes even higher. Soon I was running them up to hundreds of thousands of dollars in one of my big round robin wagers in the 90s at the old Barbary Coast. The sportsbook operators were rocking and reeling as I was about to win on the remaining games of the ticket. I overheard the guys discussing amongst themselves that this game comes through or ruined. And sure did, it came through. Moments later when I would cash out my winning tickets to Barbary Coast did made sure that um, made very clear to me that I wasn't welcome to come back with my round robin plays again. What happened there was the system allowed thousand dollar parlays on key games but they, they weren't catching on the fact that I was betting round robins at the time in baseball I was betting five game round robins at a thousand each with a couple of underdogs so it, it wasn't just a thousand dollar parlay it was a five or six thousand dollar parlay that paid back fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a ticket. It freaked them out, as you can imagine. So it already beaten Bally's to the point where they didn't want any more of my action. I went to a little place called Little Caesars that was taking a lot of action, a private place, and they had enough of me. So the next thing I did as I tried my hands uh, with the round robins at the famous Caesars Palace. I'd been there before and had won thirty, forty thousand dollars at a time, and they didn't seem to be too upset about it. I was playing some cards at the time too, so it was something that worked out to um, where there wasn't a problem. So I went in during this extremely hot run when I was in my uh, early twenties. I went into Caesars and looked around. No supervisor was there. I was going to use my Barbary Coast trick and go bet around ramen at whatever their parlay limits were but take i was going to take a fives and a six a total of six teams well as i started to make the bet here comes the supervisors they confronted me and told me that my maximum bet would be one hundred dollars i said hundred dollars this is caesar's palace but they'd heard enough about me and my winning winning um, runs at that time they didn't want anything to do it with it but the the uh, i got lucky because right next to the Caesars Palace was a new property called the Mirage at that time. And some people at Caesars told me that if I went over there to the Mirage, that they'd take the largest action, them and Binion's, but the Mirage was taking in more than Binion's at the time. So I said, okay. And I dashed over the Mirage like a hunter on a fresh scent. Arriving at the window of the Mirage Sportsbook, I asked them what their betting limits were, and I think they responded like 5 or $10 or something like that. I said, no, no, no. I said, what are your upper limits? The response that I received back was, I've never seen us refuse a bet. Wow. I stood there staring at the sports book like Copernicus finally discovering the true place of the earth and the cosmos. In one swift moment, my mind lit up like a pinball machine and my face suddenly took on the expression of a teenage boy handed the keys to a brand new Mercedes on his 16th birthday. I instantly realized that this was my chance. This was my opening. Like a quarterback seeing the whole of an opponent's defense, my blood was so thrilled with hope and possibility that I couldn't even hold back a grin. After placing my first round robin bet at the Mirage, I smiled like a vulture with the first option to a kill. Hours later, I had turned a relatively small amount of cash into over 90000 And I went up to cash the t ticket, thinking that Sirens were going to go off and supervisors were going to come to approve everything and a little old lady said to me Do you want chips or cash? I said are you kidding me? You don't need approval on, on to pay out this ticket and you've got the availability to pay me in cash and she says chips or cash sir and I said okay cash and Boom she paid me and I remember telling my brother at that point even though this was a uh, quite homely uh, older lady, I said, that's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. So I, w I was able to turn a small amount of money into 90-something thousand dollars on my first uh, foray at the Mirage. Then I got to know the, the assistant sports director and the sports director and asked them, I said, 
would you allow me to continue at higher and higher rates on these round robins? And their response was, sure. We take more action here than anybody, and, and uh, Steve Wynn's not afraid of the action, so go for it. So I said, okay, are you sure? And they said, yeah. Well, that turned into a multi-million dollar run very, very quickly. The rest was history. In the following years, the Mirage was known to bet millions of dollars a week, sometimes in a day. In 1995, the sportsbook The Mirage was by far the largest sportsbook in Nevada. In that year alone, the Mirage took over $100 million in sports betting action. Out of that $150 million approximately, I believe I was around $70 million of it was just me alone. My wagers accounted for almost half the sports betting action of the largest sport, sports book in 1995 and probably around a third of the combined action in all of the Las Vegas sports books. That being said, I'm sure I was the largest sports better in the state of Nevada. I'd go on to drain the Mirage Sportsbook out of tens of millions of dollars from my sports wagers before they finally cut their losses and shut me down. The difference between me and other high rollers is that while others usually gamble for the entertainment, I do it for the profits. It's a business to me. When I was allowed to accelerate to maximum limits when betting on sports in the 1990s, I had so much winnings on my hands, it was tough to know where to put it. Closets in my home were routinely stored with $100,000 casino chips. My jean pockets were known to carry around over a million dollars in chips and whatever cash I could carry. Oftentimes, I didn't even know what to do with all my winnings. I ended up giving millions away to friends, family, and others in my circle. Now that I can't accelerate to max limits the way I used to when I was given almost free reign at the Mirage Sportsbook, I've decided that it's time to help others like you share in my success. So lock in your access now to a premier membership at thewhalepicks.com and you can see for yourself what it's like to ride with me, one of the biggest and most successful sports bettors in history. I'm go ahead and give you a free round robin today in the NBA. It starts at 5.05. Pacific time. We're going to go with the 714 Dallas Mavericks. They're getting a point and a half. The 711 team Phoenix Suns plus five. And the under on team 707. The under on Miami and Houston 212 and a half. To get the rest of my premium round robin picks today, you have to sign up. They are only for paid members. So secure your access now to a premium membership at the Whale Picks and you'll gain access to all my premium round robins. Simply go to thewhalepicks.com and sign up. Let's get started winning big together. Thank you.